Happel Scary Fast event, what did we get? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. So I just watched Apple's Scary Fast event maybe five or ten minutes ago and I'm going to make this video so it's going to be a little unpolished, not like my normal videos. You know how I operate though. It's always like that, right? Anyways, what I want to do in this video is I just want to go through what they said and they actually only spent about a half hour on this event and it was pretty simple but there's some big changes. I think I'm a little excited about it but at the same time there's a couple letdowns so stay through the video. I'm going to tell you my kind of the worst take of this whole thing and also some of the good features that came out with Apple's Scary Fast event. At least we got the M3 chips. That's one good thing. Let's talk about it. All right, so if you haven't watched it yet, what they announced, number one, is the whole lineup of M3 CPUs or M3 chips, which is great. If you look at my screen over here, you can see them. We got the M3 standard chip, eight core, up to eight core CPU, 10 core GPU. Not bad, right? So it's gonna be a lot faster. They're claiming like, you know, they actually put it against the M1 chip for some reason. They're like two and a half times faster than this. And it was all the M1 chips, not the M2 chips. So you gotta take their grass with a grain of salt. Anyways, but then they came out with the M3 Pro chip, the uh, M3 Pro, which is up to 12 core CPU, 18 core GPU, not bad at all. And then they actually did come out with a third one, the Max actually, M3 Max, 16 core CPU, 40 core GPU. The big kicker here is that one actually can go up to 108, what, 128 gigs of unified memory, but you're going to pay for it. If you look down here, the normal M3 can go to 24 and the M3 Pro can go to 36. Not too shabby, right? But still... Is it, we'll have to see, we'll have to do the benchmarks as soon as it comes out to see where these things fall. All right, so let's just show you some of the big changes here as well. This is the one thing that they're always like, ooh, everyone's gonna talk about, but is it really that important? Take a look over here. So here it is said, mind-blowing, head-turning MacBook Pro. You can see it in here. It looks like it's a different color, right? So we kind of scroll down here and look in here. They actually came out with a new color, space black. Look at this. So it's a blackish space color, I guess. That's my new word, blackish, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. But basically, here it is. You can see it right in here. And it's, it's, it's kind of like space gray, but a lot darker. Now, they claim that it has some kind of nanotechnology that limits the fingerprints. So let's hope for that. Because if it's like the blue one, you know, you, you might like the way it looks. It looks awesome, doesn't it? But if it has a lot of fingerprints, it's just not worth it. So let's hope they fix that issue. But look at that, space black. It's just different than space gray. Not too bad. That's the big kind of take on it. I don't want to get too excited because a lot of Windows people always tell me, like, big deal. It's a black laptop. Le Lenovo's had those for years. And it's true. I don't know why we get excited about this kind of stuff. But we do. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a good comment, they say. And I, I you know, I, I see where they're coming from. All right, so as we go down here, here's the cores in here. Now, again, a lot of this stuff, it says two point times faster rendering. This is with the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max, you know, faster than the M1 Max, I'm sorry. So you can see it's using the M1 Max and not like an M2 chip or anything for saying it's 2.5 times faster. And uh, now it does have actually hardware acceler accelerated ray tracing as well. So they are claiming better graphics performance. And I read like the M3 chip should have about two times the graphics performance of the M1 chip, the standard chip. So that's not too bad in there. And uh, you can see in here it says 80% faster CPU, 18 trillion operations. But overall, the design, now let me just take a step back. The design of both the 14-inch MacBook Pro and the 16-inch MacBook Pro are exactly the same except for that color difference, all right? And we're going to get into that in a second. But the, the change, nothing's changed. No ports have changed. The screen really hasn't changed. It's all about just the CPUs and this, this iteration. And if you want to stay tuned, we're also getting, a, you know, the 20 four inch iMac, a new one as well with the M3. So stay tuned for that. So as we go down, it says it's got all day battery. Now, one cool thing with this thing is, is they're claiming up to 22 hours of battery life now. So can you imagine 22 hours of battery life on these things, which is gonna be incredible. I think there's claiming 18 hours. You can usually get about 10 on that. So maybe you'll be able to eke out 12 or 14 now, but still best in class for sure. All right, so now I'm on the ordering page and a couple things to take note of. If you look here, it says, choose your new MacBook Pro. So if I go down here, you can see here. So this is actually the M3 chip only. So they have a 14 inch with the M3 only. The big kicker here is I think it used to start at 1900. This one's only 1599 brand new. So it dropped considerably. But why did they do that? I was looking in this page and there's no more 13 inch MacBook Pro. So with, with the actual touch bar, they got rid of it, it looks like. You tell me if I'm wrong, I can't find it. So it looks like this is what's replacing it. So they have the standard M3 chip here, which is a little weird. But anyways, there it is. Eight core CPU, 10 core GPU. Now this is the big take of everything that I'm super disappointed with. I wanna just state it right now. They're still shipping with eight gigs of RAM on the base models. Now I heard there was a rumor it was gonna be 12, maybe even 16. They're still on eight. So this is the reason, I mean, I, I love all the things they're coming out with as far as the chips. 
but with eight gigs of RAM, I mean, come on. I mean, we need at least 12 on the base systems. You guys tell me if you agree. That's a huge letdown on this stuff. Anyways, take a look over here. So on this base model, 1599, you can only get it in space gray or the gray color. Now, and you can do it over here as well. So the only time you can get black on the 14 inches, if you go all the way up to the M3 Pro here, I guess this is the M3 here, you can see it there, but this just comes with a terabyte SSD for $17.99. But over here, this has got 18 gigabytes of memory, 512 gigabytes storage, and that's only $19.99. So I guess, and you can get it in the space black. So if you look over here, this is actually not a bad system. This is comparable to the old system that they offered, kind of the base model. So you're getting some good upgrades here. I mean, I guess a little bit more RAM, barely. I guess the same, eh, you know, but a faster chip. So it's not that much of a difference, but it's $19.99. So don't let them fool you. They're giving you about the same, but a faster chip. The memory went up, what is it, two gigabytes or something? So that's not a big deal either. All right, so for the 14 inch, if you go down here, you can see some other configurations, 12 core CPU, 18 core GPU, and this is 23.99. That's not a bad price. And then 14 core CPU, 30 core GPU, 36 gigs of RAM, one terabyte storage, 31.99. So you can go in here and you can kind of fool around. Let's just go and click on this. Let me just click on that really quickly. And once this loads in, you can see here, you can go up to 24 on this base model. So it doesn't let you go up high but you have to go with the max version to get up to that 128. So you gotta spend a lot of money there. That's, that's the bottom line. And uh, overall though, they're still charging an extra 200 bucks for an you know, extra eight gigs of RAM. They're still charging an extra, you know, whatever, 200 bucks for another, to go up from 512 to one terabyte as well. Overall, that's not <laughs> the best news here. So, you know, you gotta, that's, that's the take that I have from this. I love the color, I love the chip but this RAM situation is not good. So there's the basic 14 inch and they got rid of that 13 inch MacBook Pro, like I said. 16 inches are over here. And the 16 inches, even the lowest model, it's gonna have the same base price at 24.99, but you can go a space black right off, the, um, right off the bat there. And you can see here, this is the 12 core CPU, 18 core GPU, 18 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD. So you get like, I guess a little bit more RAM there. And then obviously as you move up, this is gonna just be more RAM. It's good $28.99. And then you basically go over here. So as you kind of go down the list, these are all, the first two are pros. This next one's a max. So the max starts at $34.99, all right? But if you go down here to the bottom, you know, it goes all the way up to $39.99. This has got 16 core CPU, 40 core GPU, 48 gigs of unified memory, one terabyte storage. But that's not the top price you can do on this thing. Let me go ahead and click on this and you'll see it in here for, Pretty quickly, you'll see that you can obviously go up to 128 gigabytes for an extra thousand bucks though. So that makes that, what, a $4,900 machine. And then if you wanna add more storage, you know, the, the, I guess <laughs> 2,200 bucks for eight gigs of storage. I just did a review of four, what is it, 200 gigabytes? I'm showing two terabytes or four terabytes. A four terabyte drives are like 200 bucks. They're charging 2,200. I know it's a little bit different, but still, that's another disappointment here. Um, you know, the color is nice. You're getting a little bit more, a lot faster chip, supposedly. We'll test that out. But overall, I mean, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Is this is this a good, I guess, change or a bad change? I mean, obviously the RAM is the biggest thing here. The overall configuration has got just slightly better and you got the new color, but that's really the only change on the MacBook Pros. All right, so my favorite was waiting for this, right? I actually looked at the iMac. I was thinking, oh, they're gonna come out with some, maybe some new colors and stuff. I'll tell you one thing right now, the iMac stays almost exactly the same, but it does come out now with the M3 chip. There's a couple of disappointments here as well, which let's get into. First of all, though, you can see on the page, they're selling it right now. It says pack with more juice. It's got the supercharged M3 chip here with 24 inch display. Everything's gonna be the same. The price is actually staying the same at $12.99 as well. So it didn't go up in price, even though they're giving the better chip there. But again, it's the base chip and we'll get into that. It's got the seven same colors here it's had before. You can see it right in here. So I was hoping this would come out with a black, but I guess they're kind of designating that to be the pro models at the very top pro models. So they wanna kind of make sure people that have that, that people know, hey, you're a pro. And now that does that, all right? So you're not gonna get it with this one here. Let's keep scrolling down. There's nothing really new here. I mean, if you look down this whole thing, I'm just gonna go quickly. If you go all the way down here, these are like almost some of the same images and stuff because nothing's changed here. Obviously, they're gonna be saying it's, it's, it's gonna be you know, X about faster and all, all those type of things, which we'll get into. But overall, this page looks almost exactly the same. So here it says M3 and Mac OS. It says it's up to two times faster than the M1, which I have sitting right here, up to 2.5 times faster than the most popular Intel-based 27-inch Mac models. Not bad. Four times faster than most powerful Intel-based 21.5-inch iMacs that were from a couple years ago. So you can see it's going to be faster, but it's still two times faster than the M1. That's not bad, right? But let's just see what it equates to in real-world use. All right. And then finally over here, you can see 
Here's the uh, page where you can buy them. It says it's now available starting on 11-7 or 11 the 7th of this month. So you can go ahead and order these, same price here. The one thing to take a note of this, and we were hoping for something else here, but they're only giving us the M3 chips. So a lot of people were thinking a couple things. The color change is minor, but they were thinking maybe they would you know, do an M3 Pro on the iMac. They didn't do it. They're keeping it like a really base model. So all we can do is hope for the 27 inch coming out brand new, maybe with the Pro model or a Max model later. That's a bad sign, but who knows? We'll, we'll see if they come out with that later, maybe in 2024, but right now, they don't even give us the Pro chip here. And, and you get that on the Mac Mini, you get it on a lot of other systems. So if I had the Pro and I actually had some more RAM, I would probably pick this up and just you know sell this one over here. But now I got a debate about it because it's really only the CPU. This only comes with eight gigs of RAM again, which is really disappointing. Only the M3 chip and it's $12.99 down here. So you do get the Magic Keyboard and it has the same things where you have to upgrade over here to get the 10 core GPU just like you before. So the first one over here is eight core, eight core. This is eight core, 10 core. This is eight core, 10 core. The difference here though is obviously you get the, the add-ons like the Touch ID and the keyboard. You get the ethernet thing and the plug and all that stuff. You guys know the whole, you know, whole routine there, right? So overall, am I disappointed? I, I mean, it's at the end of the day, I am a little bit because Obviously, it's the same 200 bucks here. We didn't even get 12 gigabytes and the storage is the same and I'm kind of, you know, now I got a debate. Is it really going to make a difference if I'm whatever, what is it, two times faster? It might. I mean, they say the gaming can be a lot faster. They're saying over double the frame rates of what it was getting before. But when you're getting, you know, it's not for gaming. So when you're getting 20, 20 frame rates, it could make a difference at 40, right? But overall, it's, it's a tough sell. You know, I just wish they came out with the Pro chip and also maybe some more RAM as a base model. And just to let everyone else know, I'm going to go back and just, I didn't mention this, but the, it looks like 11.7 is basically when the 14 inch is going to come out. And I think over here, 11.7, it says starting here on the 16 inch. He said there was one maybe later in the year and it might be the Max chip might be coming out a little bit later. I can't tell if it says it in here. I can't see it. It says November 9th to the 13th. So anyways, you see the idea. It's gonna be coming in the next couple of weeks no matter what. So it's either one you get, you may have to wait a little bit longer. But you tell me, here it is. You know, this is what we got. We got basically the M3 chips and they're supposedly a lot faster. That's number one. We got a different color on the MacBook Pro. They got rid of the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the touch bar. If you like that, that looks like it's gone. I mean, I don't know if think, don't think it's ever coming back, right? And then if you want the iMac and you waited all these, you know, for two years now to get the next one, you're going to get rewarded with the new chip, but you're not going to get any more RAM and you're going to have to pay up to get the extra disk drives and all that stuff, storage. So, you know, you tell me again, are you happy about this? Is this a scary event for you or are you a, is it a happy event, right? Overall, I'm just glad they didn't get rid of the iMac and if the 27 inch comes out later, I'll be happy. At the end of the day, you tell me, post in the comments. This is totally off the cuff. I did this within five minutes of watching this, so I apologize if it's not polished. But you know me, this is how my videos usually are. Please subscribe if you can, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.